Alright, next episode on Chemistry Final, we will be discussing oxidation and reduction. Hi guys, I'm Katie, and I'm here to talk with you all about oxidation and reduction. First is oxidation. Oxidation is the loss of electrons. Reduction is the opposite. It's the gaining of electrons. Electrons like to be more negative, so oxidation is when it goes from a negative to a more positive charge, and reduction is when it goes from a positive to a more to negative remember, charge. To remember oxidation, we have the acronym LEO, which stands for Losing Electrons Oxidation. And to remember reduction, we have the acronym GER, Gaining Electrons Reduction. Now let's do a couple examples of oxidation and reduction. Our first example is Cl- yielding Cl2. Since this has a negative 1 charge, the charge is negative 1. However, this has no charge, so it's zero. This goes from a negative one to zero charge, which is the losing of electrons, so it's oxidation. Our second example is TiO2 yielding Ti3+. You have to break this into its ions, and oxygen comes first, and it usually has a negative two charge. So negative two times two is negative four. So titanium must have a plus four charge. So down here, it's plus 4. Over here, however, it already has a 3 plus charge, so it will remain 3 plus. This is the gaining of electrons for uh, titanium since it goes from a positive 4 to positive 3. So it's a reduction. Right here, we have a balanced react reaction. We're going to find the oxidation states for all of them. Now, for Fe2O3, we're going to carve it up in the middle. The oxygen is going to have the 2 minus charge. 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 minus. 6 plus goes on the other side, and Fe2 is going to have a 3 plus charge. Now for the CO, we're going to carve it up in the middle again. Oxygen is going to be a 2 minus charge. 2 minus goes to 2 plus, and carbon is going to have a 2 plus charge. Now for the product side, iron is going to have no charge. And for this one, we're going to carve it up again. And 2 minus charge, 2 plus 2. 2 times 2 is 4 minus. 4 plus, and the carbon is going to end up having a 4 plus charge. Alright, now that we have all the oxidation states complete, we are going to find which one's being reduced and which one's being oxidized. Now, iron goes from 3 plus to 0, so it's going to be now. For the carbon, it goes from 2 plus all the way to 4 plus, so that one's being oxidized. Alright, this is the end of the relax reaction. Thanks for watching, and see you again on Chemistry Fun.